I'm starting out with no makeup at all. So these are my naked brows. You can see that they are a little bit more sparse in this area. And then the front is pretty okay, I would say. And then the tail is a little bit short. It should end around here. Yeah, so let's get started. And I'm gonna do it step by step so you guys can really see the difference it makes. So you can use any glue stick that dries clear. And you also have to make sure that it's washable so it doesn't stick to your hair. So what you can do is either take a little spatula and take the glue off. So the way I like to use it is I take my brow pencil and I just simply rub it inside the glue stick. So when you picked up a little bit of the glue, you can start brushing it into your brows just a little bit at a time. So what really is key here is to not make your brows too clumpy. So make sure to separate it, shape it to the shape you like and don't make it too flat against your head because that will look weird. But I just tend to brush everything up and now I have a crazy professor inspired brow. And what I do next is just take the tip of the brush and just begin to shape the brow. Okay, so I think this might be something we can work with. I still have some sparseness right there, but I like the shape of my brow. So if you can see the difference, you can really see that this brow is more lifted and the hairs just look so much more fuller than on this side. So what I'm gonna do next is just map out the shape of my brow. And for that I'm using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Ash Brown. Okay, so once I've done that, I'm taking my little makeup wipe and I'm wiping away any extra glue on the top and bottom. I'm now gonna focus on the top shape of my brow. And then with the same pencil, I just start filling in any sparse areas. Taking a clean spoolie. I always feel like it gets a little bit too straight around there, but I'm just gonna fix that with a little bit of concealer. I'm just using the NYX Gotcha Covered Concealer and a little e.l.f. brush. Okay, so I always mess up my lines a little bit with the concealer right there because I reshape my brow a little bit. So I'm gonna go back in with product. But first I'm just gonna blend out the concealer with my finger. So it's up to you if you wanna fill in that little mistake right there with the brow pencil. But um, I just like to use a little bit of the dip brow pomade because it's just sharper and it looks better on photos. But if you wanna keep it natural, definitely use a pencil. So I'm just using the shade dark brown. You can use ash brown, whatever you like for your brows. I don't know, I just like the outer parts of my brows to be a little bit darker. And I'm using a Anastasia 14 brush. And I also done looks with like only the pencil. I will pop in a photo how that looks. Um, this is just a darker, more Instagram-like brow. So here you can really see the difference of the good brow with nothing on it and the bad brow with the glue stick technique. So this brow is definitely more bold, feathery, dark, very, very sharp and edgy. And then this is just very natural. I mean, usually I just go out with my natural brows, only fill in the outer part of my brow a little bit. So it's not for everyone, definitely not, but um, yeah, this is how I do my glue stick brow. I just like to finish off my brow with a little bit of the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. It's not really necessary, I mean the glue definitely keeps your brow into shape, but I just like the glossy finish it gives. And the brow gel also really accentuates every single hair so it will look even more fluffy. 
as you can see it is very bold sharp and pretty so you can definitely see that this brow misses a lot of fullness in the front right here because I don't want to apply too much product because I feel like it becomes way too dark for my skin tone so you can really see that I'm missing fullness here and the brow overall is a bit more powdery like less fluffy definitely darker compared to this side so let me know in your comments down below which brow you like better so the glue stick brow or the non glue stick brow <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like this video and share it with your friends. And I hope you really love this brow style. If you try it out, please tag me on Instagram or use my hashtag. I will put everything in the description down below. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching.